that my own people are there now i don't want that kingdom that is his problem so please notice there is a very subtle clarity here which krishna can see and which we are made aware of osho makes you aware of this he says his desire for the material world still exists arjun is still happy to get a kingdom but he has a condition if if it will come without fighting them i will do it if this kingdom is going to come by slaying my own then i don't want it there it's just that his his whole thing is standing on a what if so his it's all conditional if condition is like this i'm okay if the condition is like this then i'm not okay so arjun desires what he says he wants to give up please see this contradiction which is happening inside arjun and that is why geeta don't think that krishna is pushing him into violence krishna never pushes him into violence the violence exists in arjun he is saying he is non violent but he is not non violent he is trained to be a warrior please watch this he is very entangled what are we told in yoga vidyas arjun is an entangled state most of us are in this state of entanglement arjun arjun's question is how can i be happy by killing my own people when we speak dharma shastra and moksha shastra who is it that we can't ignore buddha he is the one on enlightenment right uh, speak dharma shastra and moksha shastra you cannot ignore buddha you cannot ignore gautam siddhart gautam siddhart also went through a question his question was is there a chance of happiness in this world does having a kingdom serve any authentic good gautam siddhart had to go out one day out of his kingdom and just see those three people and his whole life changed on that moment he decided that this kingdom is not worth it his desire for material world simply dropped he said happiness cannot be found in this material world suffering exists in the material world there is a very very interesting uh, comment that sadguru had once made on this he says that you know everybody goes towards yoga and tries to find solutions and answers when things are going wrong in their life just like arjun when he is in anguish he is also looking for enlightenment he is also seeking he says to be able to have the intelligence to seek when everything is right in your life this requires enormous intelligence this was gautam siddhart everything was beautiful in his life but he simply saw and he had the intelligence to see that suffering exists in this material world how to break out of this cycle and that day he dropped his kingdom he left his wife with a one year old child and left because he needed the answer his seeking and his restlessness had reached that boiling point he was ready to drop everything for the world for for this just to know this answer this is seeking this is a this is the fire of seeking that a yoga practitioner needs what is arjun's dilemma uh <clears throat> buddha's realization was that kingdom is futile arjun does not have this realization arjun thinks that having the kingdom is nice but if it happens to me like this if it happens to me like this then i don't want it okay now what is uh, arjun's dilemma here uh, he says they are deluded should we also become deluded they are wrong should we also do some wrong that will make it double wrong what do we get in return is it even useful this is his dilemma his point to krishna is krishna you just give me permission to run away or tell me it is worthwhile to fight he is looking for a very clear do and don't someone tell me what to do he is also his, this happens to all of us my mind is driving me crazy i don't know what to do someone just simply tell me how easy it is that is why we are always looking for 10 commandments life is not like this life is not black and white you have to delve into your own deepest recesses and look into it and come into answers by yourself so Arjun's problem is not to fight please understand this he is inclined to fight just change the opposing army he will go ahead his gaddi his energy everything will come no problem but right now his mind is divided his mind is not like bhim now this is very interesting so we are saying that arjun is not really established in ahimsa that because now so what has happened and this is a very unique kind of a war you are not fighting strangers you are fighting like i said people who are more friendly and less friendly a guru a teacher a grandfather cousins maybe some friends people of his own kingdom so it's like a line has people on the other side are also his own 
now this creates division in arjun's mind mindness you know they are mine how can i fight them now arjun is not established in ahimsa is this are we all clear on this he's not established he's not like gautam siddharth he's not like a buddha he's not established in this war the seed of war exists in him the seed of fighting exists in this man and he is what makes a mind violent but please don't see violence in this in terms of bloodshed please look at conflict violence happens when i and you happens right if everybody was a part of me there would be nothing against anybody violence means one versus the other correct but if i include everybody as part of me then there is no other correct so when there is an i the moment i say i and me you have we have already established the other that means there is an other that exists what is this state called ego what is ego ego is simply that which separates which divides so uh, uh that is the cause of his violence this ego has become this mindness attachment to mind has become the cause of his violence that then if he, even if he wins the war what is the point who will celebrate his victory because so see what is how does ego function ego functions that me and mine if me and mine begins to expand then ego becomes bigger isn't it if me and mine begins to expand then ego becomes bigger i have two cars i have bigger family i have a bigger community that i am connected to now my i has become bigger and bigger right either it becomes so big that it includes everyone or it shrinks completely and i dissolve in everyone these are the only two ways of yoga krishna's where is way is make it so big that it includes everybody so we agree that krishna can see through the contradiction in arjun that his i and mindness is the seed of fight and violence within him okay and non violence is not going to flower in this kind of a soil where you know uh, this i me mine has to uh, exist you know if uh, so when people say that krishna pushes arjun into war this is wrong krishna cannot you cannot push can you ever push a buddha into a war you can convince him with all your arguments you can never push him into a war because he is so established in ahimsa in his presence people start experiencing peace where is the question of war but arjun is not like that he is not established in ahimsa there is peace is not prevailing simply by his presence he himself is so divided so uh, 